time it is. It's time to see what's going on. Colonials. Wow, Warren's already have one death. Oh, this is me without a uniform. So what's my inventory like? Oh, oh, hello, SpaghettiOs. Memento. So this is neat. So can I must always have a uniform equipped. All right. Nice. I like that. So it's actually equipment that goes in that slot. Oh. All right. Let's take a look at the map. So holy shit. God damn. So all this here. All this is new. I'm gonna assume, yeah, okay, same is here in this area. Did Weather Expanse already go down? Hmm, I wonder why it's so dark. Okay, so I want to... What the fuck? Town base? Oh, did they change how things look on the map? No, oh, maybe they did. Okay, neat. I'm gonna be honest. I thought these would be more bigger lodgy towns back here. This looks like. No, this is all swamp area. I was gonna say this looks like an actual proper city, but it's not. This doesn't look like it. So, where would be like a decently sized city? Oh, hell. Oh my god, look at that. Terminus. Oh, that looks like a nice place. Let's go there. We also have to go look at the factories, see what all is new. We gotta see all that jazz. I'm not gonna blank anything. Oh, it's... What's the queue? Oh, one player. I'm not gonna blank anything out because it's dev branch. Anyone that bitches about giving intel on dev branch is a fucking idiot. But we will just minimize that. So, okay, uh, let's go take a look at the factories and see what they look like now while we have time I could also head to the building oh no wait I think they said the uh, the buildings isn't happening yet or that's gonna be in the next half of the update I can run a lot longer than I could is that just because of the fatigues eight backpack slots Connect weapon ammunition stacks. Connect weapons have reduced encumbrance. Oh, that's actually nice. Okay, so each uniform actually do have stat differences. Okay, so... Is this the MPF? No, this is storage depot. This one's a normal factory. So, what do we... Oh, fuck, look at this. So we have uniform for an engineer, has eight backpack slots. Materials have reduced encumbrance. That's nice. Grenadier, fuck yeah. Only five backpack slots, but grenades stack and they have reduced encumbrance. Medic, five backpacks. Bandages and blood plasma stack, but bandages always did, so that's a little bit weird. Uh, legionary oil coat, kinetic weapon ammunition stacks, high resistance to rainstorms, recon camo, five backpack, high chance of not being detected by enemy intelligence, god damn. Heavy top coat, oh we do get a snow uniform as well, nice. Kinetic weapon ammunition stacks and low resistance to snowstorms, it's not great but it's not bad. And they're all a hundred so they're not too expensive really. Tank man's coveralls, gas mask filter stack, nice. And basic materials of reduced encumbrance. That's fucking nice. Okay, so this now is just purely G subs and B subs. Nice. And medical is where our shirts are now. 
Um, okay, 20 mil is still here. Everything looks about the same. It looks like they organized everything a bit more. And 12.7 has been moved to small arms, which makes sense. Was the gas here? Or was the gas in heavy weapons before? I can't remember. But no, that, that's nice. I cannot wait to uh, do this. But it looks like it needs to be teched first, or it's just not added into the update yet. Or uh, what was it? Construction yards. No, where is it? Maybe it hasn't been added yet, but the, uh, the sandbags and shit. Okay, uh, first thing I have to do is, once we teleport in, go to the engineering center and look at tech. So far this is a nice update. Let's see, there should be boxes of weapons somewhere over here, right? We can kind of take a look at the encumbrance and see what it's like. Nope. Nope, those are just all shirts. Shirts. Okay, I'm try it's been so long since I've been in this training area. Oh yeah, here's the new camera. If you hold right click. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, I cannot wait to get so much use out of this. Look how far you can see. The only thing that sucks is uh, you can't sprint while looking, which is kind of a pain. Where's the firing range? Uh, over here. Okay, we got pistols and such. Uh, are the new rifles here? Basic Argentine. Just ammo. Hmm. Alright, well let's take a, a Catra. Some ammo for it. Now this usually makes you super slow, so it still does that. Did I grab the wrong ammo type for it? Yeah, I did. Hmm. They put it with the wrong ammo. That's hilarious. Okay, so only 45%. That's not bad. Oh, and it does stack. Alright, let's see how much can I take. Okay, so it's, it stacks and sets to three. That is... that's nice. Look at that, I can have my Catra and this much ammunition and only be at 73%. That is fantastic. That is absolutely lovely. So how much pistol ammo can I have stacked up then? Oh, maximum three. Okay. Alright, so they changed how that jazz works. Wow, look at that. Of course, you can still see farther with the corner, but at least now it's not nearly as bad. so hard for me to hit anything because I'm bad at the gun combat, but uh, oh, holy shit that's nice. Alright, let's uh, Jesus how long does it take for this queue? Oh is this all the uh, yeah, the RPGs and shit? ISGs, that one's ammo, tripods. This is grenades? Yes. So the one thing I'm noticing is half the time when I hit E to um, get out boxes, it isn't getting rid of it. I have to hit escape to exile the box. So I'm not sure what's going on there. 
Anyway, let's uh, head over to the garage and take a look at the vehicles. Although, someone has probably already uh, annihilated everything that was parked there. But we'll see in a moment. Oh, hey, look at that. It's the, uh, the new barbed wire being shown off already. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, it feels like I can sprint way longer now. Like, look at that. I'm sprinting. It feels like they reduced the speed on sprinting a little bit, but that could be because of how encumbered I am. But, uh, you last much longer. It's not the five meter burst. I gotta keep going. I forgot how big just the uh, barracks area is. Speaking of which, no, that's just for character. Not sure where you change your uniforms then. I guess just at like a bunker base or anything. Oh, those are new smaller containers. Interesting. This is the vehicle area, right? Yeah. What do we got in here? Petrol and diesel, ammunition. Alright, right there I had to hit E three times for me to uh, get out of the box. Okay. ACs, LNG, blah blah blah. Okay, where is the big boy? What was it called? Something with a B. Um. Am I blind? Ballista, Spata, Falcon, Scorpion. Hmm. Maybe the tank didn't get added in quite yet. Nope. I guess I finally made it. Look at that artwork. That artwork is nice. Oh, that's a man being Oh, this is one of the new buildings. Oh, that's nice. Oh, shit. We already got them on the field. Oh, look at the fucking repeater. Oh, and the long rifle. They both use a uh, 7.62. Alright, let's take a look at this repeater. Oh look, the villains are out already. So it takes a little bit to go down. That's a nice sound. Wow, look at that fucking view distance. This can be used basically as a sniper now. Or any rifle can, really. At least now it won't feel like I'm being shot from the other side of the map without seeing them. I'll be able to at least glance at them before I get fucking killed. So that was the repeater. Let's take a look at the lawn rifle. Oh, that was a nice sound. Oh. That, that zooms in quite fast. Especially when crouching. Hmm. Yeah, so this is about as fast as you can fire. That, that's nice. <laughs> I like the sound as well, it's very punchy. Now then, uh, EC, there we go. I noticed this has three stars, does that mean it's fully teched? Is that how they do it now? Like, the more a building is teched up, the fast- Oh, we got rail lines for trolley cars. 
All right, uh, you see. Yeah, there it is. So supposedly they also changed how things work. Thanks for following. Hoss, oh, okay. Someone has just gone and made bots now, and that's depressing. What the fuck? Is that tier one? Hmm. So... <sighs> if only I had my moderator on to go through and ban these accounts. Who the fuck is even doing that? Why would someone go and make fake accounts to follow and boost me? The absolute fuck. Please, no. There we go. I think that should stop it. Oh, what the fuck was that one? No, this person should be banned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God damn it, so many messages. What the fuck? How does that even work? They're not even watching. I don't know. Okay, anyway, uh... Okay, so yeah, 300 millimeter needs to be tacked now, and god, it could be a fucking active choice. God, that's horrendous. Uh, How it going? I think that's all that was added to tech at the moment. That and obviously the uh, no, not that one, the big boy, wherever he is. What? Was that the big boy? Oh, she, no. uh, I don't know. I thought this was called B something. What the fuck is it called? Black door. Huh. Black. Actually, uh, shit, where is the, um... Alright, factory's over here. I wanna go see if we can make... Uh... Uniforms. I do like how urban everything is. Feels like urban combat's gonna be more of a focus. Okay, so they're just not enabled yet. Okay, that's why. No, I want to go see these uh, these dock areas, and I'll get myself like an Odyssey or a Willy's Jeep and just uh, go check out all the town. That's new. Do they add a fucking canoe? Hold on. Machine gun pillbox. No. So, huh? I guess those are just spawn now, kind of like relic stuff. So we have the anti-tank pillbox, all oh, that. A little bit janky, but uh, it'll be ironed out, but that's nice. So that's the anti-tank one, I think that's 20 mil. Machine gun pillbox. That's nice. And then is... Okay, that's all for the pillboxes. Oh no, there is a rifle pillbox as well. It's gonna be handy having these. It's gonna be nice. But I don't know what that means for uh, bunker ones. Now, I wanna see if this is what I think it is. Is- oh. Is this just- What? That's a shame. I thought you could actually uh, go in there. Well, at least you can climb out of the water easily. This is a nice port area. I'm hoping we get to, uh, it's gonna be used a lot for, you know, actually doing shipping and such. 
So it's gonna be handy. That's gonna be nice. It's gonna be neat. Oh. That's a poor, poor tugboat that's just got annihilated. So is that shipping yard over there? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get a Willy's Jeep and go for a ride. That gun's freaking the fuck out. Alright, uh, the Argonaut. Okay, let's just take all that and then afterwards we'll do the Argonaut. Wow, these are expensive. I'm here with flip shit. Building a tank. Is this the only garage in the AO? Surprisingly enough, it is. That is weird. Two factories, an MPF, a seaport. I guess I could just use a normal ass Logi truck. I don't want a Willy's Jeep though. Well, I'll go grab a normal truck. Oh, hello, Willy's Jeep. Ah, uh, it's locked. Damn. Now then, shipyard. Okay, just all the usual jazz. Supposedly, though, freighters are just going to be auto-unlocked at the start. You're not going to have to tech the freighter, which is going to be very nice. It's going to make a do in Logi from the back here very viable, because then you don't have to drive everything up for 10 minutes. Alright, we just gotta go to the fuel truck over this way. Get some fuel in this baby and we'll go explore the city. It's a bad I can't wait for areas like this to be attacked. Okay, so we're in this place. Where do we want to head to first? Let's head to the weed farm. Wow, yeah, you really can see more while driving, and you can also zoom- eh. Holding down right-click does not give you that much more distance to see shit. I mean, you can see more. That is nice. It's gonna make, uh... Oh. It's very sectioned out here. I do like this place. I like it a lot, especially the, uh, I think you would call them adobe style buildings. Alright, now I just need to find where the weed farm is. Finally, colonials have areas to jump off of. Okay, so up here should be the weed farm. It's too busy looking around. Behind me the honk dummy? Oh, I did. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna assume this is the road that takes me to the weed farm. And it's a little bit weird to get used to driving with the... Okay. Well, I guess I'm going on foot. Shouldn't be far from the weed farm. I'm basically on top of it. Oh. They mean an orchard. Well, that is one way to say And what the fuck came through here and fucked everything up? A tank? I wonder if that's meant to be a tank. Oh, yeah, this is a nice orchard. Oh, I just thought, can you imagine fighting in this area? Because obviously, you know, you can hide behind here and you're fighting uphill the entire time. But uh, this entire area just getting slowly devastated and all the trees burning away. Oh, that's going to be sad. Although it seems very peaceful here. 
Is that fucking torpedoes? Or is that just very big shells? I can't tell. Those almost look like torpedoes. Okay, let's get back on the road, and whereabouts do we want to head? Uh, I guess we can head to the next city. Oh, I fucked up. I did a very big oopsie doopsie. I meant to ban Haas. I instead banned fucking uh, Streamlabs. That is hilarious. Anyway. So I guess we can just start heading north. And we can, uh, we can head west, I guess. Man, it is gonna take a while to get used to this new camera for vehicles. It's hard to kind of focus in on yourself. Okay, I think we'll head down this way. Head here, we'll go see uh, this area. And then... Yeah, because right there is Silk Farms and there's Great March. Dick Mountain? Oh, it is Dick Mountain. That is hilarious. Naval Invasion Paradise, yeah, most likely. The old captain. I can see a, a lodgy, or not a lodgy, uh, a naval regiment being based out of this area. Although the one thing I'm noticing is very little amounts of supplies around here. Now I'm sure there's going to be more when it actually gets released. Like that, only two mines, a single comp field, two salvage nodes, and a sulfur node. Even here, it's only uh, over here. And you just got three salvage, a sulfur, a comp, and a single mine. Here you got three salvage, mine, sulfur, oil well. How are the, uh, up here? Yeah, so back in these areas, they still got a bit more. So I wonder why that is. Why these ones are so sparse, comparatively. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go visit the, uh, the next town. Holy shit, even with my increased view range, I almost fucking hit that man. And smack the wall. Lol. And then I think we'll start heading kind of up north after this to go see what the uh, the warden's new areas look like. So where am I going? Okay, um, let's just hook a left. I think it's gonna be better that way. 
I also need to pull some fuel out. Is that if I'm going on my road trip, I'm gonna need some fuel. Although it feels like the truck doesn't eat through as much fuel as it used to. Although I haven't gone very far comparatively. Legion Ranch. I can't wait to see the new uniforms. Blemish Refinery or Riot? Hold on. Are you telling me there's not a refinery in Blum Blum? Great March. Oh my god, there's no refinery in Blemish. Holy shit. That's hilarious. Yeah, Jade Cove has a seaport and coastal gun. Alright, shit. Uh, am I going... Where the fuck am I? Okay. Good, that tree was there to block me. Ah, god damn it, devs. You had one job, and that was to shift it slightly over to the right. God. God damn it. And that wall is just straight up in the road. Look at this, look at that. Oh, you have no idea. Look at the little thing that's hanging off the edge of it. It's so weird. I do have to say, it's nice and peaceful back here. I can see myself playing in this back region for quite a good amount of time. And shit, was that my turn? No, okay, it's up here. Uh, you know, just relaxing, because theoretically no fucking partisan should be able to get this far back. So you can just scrap in peace. Okay, this is my turn. I want to build a bunker base as well. I need to get a shovel and a CV. I want to see what that's like. Uh, even with increased view distance, it is still very easy to get rammed into. This is a nice little place. Nice and cozy. Houses. Oh, I like the style of these these places now. I don't know why I came here. Or to the refinery, rather. Oh, look, a nice parking lot area. It's very central. So how much does the repeater and such cost? Holy shit. 155 BMATs for 15 of them. Trushkina. Um... So, the repeater is only a hundred. So I can see the repeater being a starting weapon as well as the Argenti. I think this would be like mid-game. Maybe around the time pitch guns are being rolled out. Maybe a little bit later. Hmm. Okay, uh, where is a place I can grab a shovel from? Do I have to make some? Oh shit, I, have to, I may have to make some real quick. And we'll just up like a bunker base in here. So I gotta go up here to the scroop field. The world map has not been updated to reflect all map changes. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Roads will meet with a hard edge without proper blending. Oh. It's Devman. 
Dove Man is speaking to us. The shovel has been deliberately broken. Bunker and chat. Oh. Damn. I can't make trenches. Fuck. Damn you, Dev Man! Hmm. Look how big this map is. If I was gonna drive straight to the north, so. They have a nice city up there. Great Warden Dam. Oh, fuck. I want to go there. They have a dam? Shit, that's cool. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. Holy shit. That's going to be impenetrable. So I want to go up there. Um, let's make our way to the dam, though. Uh, just got to head directly north, basically. Yeah, just directly north. They just changed the name of the tank. Aww. Uh, someone pointed out that the tank was called the Faltheon instead of the Barracuda or whatever it was supposed to be called and they just changed it in-game. That's hilarious. Alright, let's head up north. I want to go see that dam. Actually, can I just leave the shard and rejoin back as warden? Can I do that? Is that possible? Actually, is there anywhere neat left here that I want to go see? I don't know, like the Kali ones aren't... They're just kind of fields and that's kind of it. There isn't other than here, there isn't anything kind of really cool about them? Or any like standout landmarks for a uh, terrain kind of deal? But uh, I want to go see that, that dam. That's going to be very, very cool. I wonder if you can destroy it, because there's that keep on top of the dam that's inactive currently. Let's let's head up there, shall we? Yeah, you know this new camera is actually decently nice. Corner is still gonna be kind of OP for the time being, but you know, not much you can really do about that. In all fairness, but it is nice they pulled it out, especially with the amount of players in game now. It was so easy for someone just to run right next to you, an enemy, and you just didn't notice because of the limited view range. Uh, is this the road I want to take? Yeah, okay. This is nice and peaceful. Although this is normal map area now. We're not in new map. Kind of sad the uniforms are in this update. That's kind of what I think everyone was excited about. But I assume they're putting the finishing touches on them. I wonder what the time to produce uniforms would be. Do you think it's like the same amount of time as shirts? 
I do think you need... Okay, so... Do you think you will be required to have not only a shirt, but a uniform to spawn at a base? Or only shirts and you just default into the normal soldier layout? Because I wouldn't be surprised if they change it to spawn now. You need a shirt and at least a uniform present in the, uh, the base. Mind you, they could just do the uniform, like, starting gear. Where you just spawn with a pistol, a uniform, blah blah blah. But then I wonder if you can loot uniforms off of dead people? Which, if you could, that would be great. Because then you can, uh... You know, scavenging would also be a huge return on investment. Anyway, we just gotta keep heading north. I wanna go see that Warden Dam. I need to see that Warden Dam. Although if I die, I'm gonna spawn all the way back down south. But then I could get a boat and then just head all the way up there. I don't know how long range their coastal guns are, but if I'm just in a motorboat, I feel like I'd be able to skirt on the outsides of their range. Or even take, um... A gunboat, so that it has more armor, so it can take a few more hits. And then just simply repair somewhere. The server is in recovery mo oh. I was not aware of that. And I can't do anything for two minutes. Well, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Oh well. And now we wait, do, do, and now we wait, do, do, and now we wait, 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 wait. Can I even look at the map? No, I, I literally can't do anything while I wait for this to recover. Come on, game. Right, so I wonder what happened for it to be put into recovery mode. Is it just there's so many people here? Oh, that was weird. Okay, um... Shit. What would be a safe route? I guess just up through here? Here, here, cut left, here, go up this way. I can't really get through here though. Maybe I go around here, Craigstown, ah, that's kind of skirting it close though. Where even is... Okay, so I can get to the dam by either side. What happens if I go right? It's pretty safe on that side. Oh. They got rid of the, um... The keep that was just there. 
Weird. Okay. So, bridge here, bridge here, bridge here. So I could come this way, here. Um, that's a dead end road, same with here and here. So I could head up that way. So from here I just need to keep and north here. If we can skirt by this safe house. Shit, that's a relic base that's gonna shoot at me as well. Okay. What happens if I head up through here? Here. There. Try and skirt by there. Go off road here. Just so fucking far. I think it's better if I just get myself a boat. There shouldn't be that many. Okay, a coastal gun there. Does this even lead to the dam? No, it does not. So I need to get myself over here. Does here have a coastal gun? Okay, it does. So if I get to this area, if I can get to Well Church, build myself a boat, and then just kind of go through here. That port of rim, you head out here-ish. And around here I'll have to ditch the boat and go on foot the rest of the way. Alright, that's a plan. Alright, so I gotta make my way all the way over to Well Church. It's gonna be a little bit of a drive. But that is a okay. I'm mainly worried about AI defenses. I'm hoping I don't get riddled with bullets by some random warden walking by who doesn't understand it's a dev branch and not to kind of murder me at the moment. God, I'm gonna need to bring a lot of motorboat fuel with me though. God, I hope there's some in that town hall. Ooh, Bayonet Volta may be the new trench destroyer. Nice. Yeah, that is a good bun. Although I think shotguns may find new use. Especially with the towns being kind of more urban combat focused. I think we're going to see bigger towns be added. More buildings, tighter streets. There's going to be a focus on infantry combat and we'll see more shotguns being used. Okay, I'll go left. Ooh, foggy. Nice. Ooh, oh, fuck, it's storming. Well, shit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to the dam. I did not factor in weather. Okay, if I can't make it in a motorboat, I could make it in a barge. There are shipyards over here. There is a shipyard at Well Church. Grab some beam mounts right now. Okay, I'll do it in a barge. Kind of not really paying attention to where I'm driving at the moment. Oh. Wonder how come I slowed down so much there. 
Okay, we just gotta head up this way, I think. And am I taking the road on the right or the left? Uh, where about am I? Let's take the one on the right, that's the safer route at the moment. That's the one where I'm least likely to get shot by wardens. I just really want to see this dam. It's gonna look very nice, I hope. Also, if you can blow it up, that would be insane. Can you imagine that? You can blow it up and flood the area. I don't think the game could handle that, mind you, but that would be insane. Please don't tell me it's also going to be in recovery mode. Okay, there we go. Don't know what was going on there, I was just frozen. So in this dev build, they added the tank and the guns and the new map. So next one... Oh, and also the pill boxes. But the next one is gonna be uh, the new trenches, bunker bases, uniforms, uh, a couple of the other things. Oh, I didn't even notice when I was in the uh, the factory where to produce the uh, the listening post and everything. I didn't see it. So maybe it hasn't been added in yet. I'll have to check that when I get back to a, a factory area. Unless it's built elsewhere. I wonder if this dude's doing the same thing I'm doing. Okay, am I taking the next row on the left? I am. That was an illegal left. Alright, there we go. Right, I think he kept going straight. Man, that dude brings up a good point. There's so many new maps and or towns and regions now. I don't remember half of them to begin with. Wait, is there okay, I was gonna say, is there a bridge across? It didn't look like it on map. Alright, I need, uh, how much is a barge typically? 120? Oh, shit! They changed over the town halls already. Oh, that's nice. Map intelligence has been updated. The town base is... Okay, that's generic. But map intelligence has now been updated. Does that mean, uh... Oh. Hmm. Map intelligence has been updated. So every time you go into a base, it updates your intelligence. Interesting. It also feels like they made pulling out B mats slightly faster. Well, these are stacks of 20, never mind. The Unmin, the Clancy, Cinder, and the Longcaster. The hands during the high risk coverage. Wow. Uh, so there's our repeater. 
Sample auto rifle. Ooh. Single shot and automatic fire mode. I think that's a new one. The hangman, yeah, the heavy rifle. Sledge is well earned. Stop and power, unique revolver mechanism. Yeah, because it's a 44. It's gonna be insane. Malone. Was that in the game already or is that new? I feel like that's new. I'm not sure though. I'm not familiar with the warden. Uh, weapons if that's a warden. Oh, hello. Barbed wire. Metal beams. Sandbags. Hmm. Oh. Specialist overcoat. The warden specialist. Optimize their capacity to haul a variety of heavy ammunition. So this is our engineer uniform, and this is theirs. Sapper gear, Fabri rucksack, grenadier. That's ours. That's ours. This is theirs. So we have a mech fatigues, and they have a physician's jacket. Oil coat. Ours. Here we go. Outrider's mantle. A chance to not be detected. Low resistance to snowstorms. So they're. Scout uniform gives them a resistance to snowstorm. That's nice. And then the heavy top coat is ours, a low resistance to snowstorms, and theirs is high resistance. Legionary fatigues, warden fatigues, tank man's coveralls, worn padded boiler suit, tank man coverall. Hmm. It's nice that they give them different names as well. All right, anyway, uh, what was I doing? Right, yeah. Let's pull some of this shit out. We're going for a trip in the favorite rocket ship. All right, this should be definitely enough fuel to get us all the way up there. And I'll also just park the truck on top, just in case. Oh, I need to go down that road to the seaboard, I believe. I wish we had the new um, uniforms. Just so I can see what it's like to uh, not freeze to death, you know? Speaking of which, I'm going to have to be careful here. Right, well, Jesus, that's so expensive. So I'm gonna have to be careful of not freezing to death here. Okay, it's 150 for the barge. So I'm trying to remember because it's been a long time since I've been in a winter conflict area. On foot, rather. I'm usually in vehicles doing shit. But, uh,. I think it's until there's like snow on the side. Okay, we're starting to get cold. I'm gonna assume it's you're starting to get cold, you're cold, you're freezing. So we should start seeing snow build up on my character. I just realized, no, I did set my spawn, right? I'm pretty sure I set my spawn. The only thing I'm worried about is if they didn't put the effects yet on the new player model uniforms for snow and freezing to death, and then I'll just collapse dead without any real way to see that. Although that does look like snow build up on my left shoulder now. Why isn't my character wearing gloves? Where are his gloves? Okay, and that's snow build up on my right shoulder now. So let's just hop in the truck and warm up a bit. I don't think this warms me up, I think it just keeps me around the same temperature actually. Alright, well we'll back this up a wee bit. Okay, now that did seem to warm me up a tad bit. 
I may have to pull more B mats though. I could always build myself a fire. Mm. Yeah, okay, there we go, out of B mats. So we only need 50 more. Split, shove. Okay, yeah, we're getting to the point where we might die. So let's just sit in the truck for a bit. So we'll just sit here for a minute and uh, warm up. It shouldn't take too long, only a moment or two. Alright, there we go. Now as soon as this finishes, I can't remember, does it auto drop the ramp? I think it does. Dev Warden Dev Dev Bias Wardens have Everus. No idea what the fuck that is. Is that a person? Is that a streamer? I don't know. But uh, let, let's go see that. Damn. I'm very interested in it. The one thing I'll do is quickly run back to the uh, town hall though. And check that I set my spawn. Because if I didn't, that's going to be a big whoopsie doopsie if I get taken out by a, a coastal gun. Coolio. Alright. Let's, let's do a quick run there. I shouldn't freeze to death in the time it takes to run there. Even if I do, if I set my spawn fast enough, I'm fine. Then we just gotta fill the freighter up with fuel and make our way north. Like we're invading. But we're not. Do I warm up? Oh, I do warm up when inside. Neat. Okay, yeah, so I did. He's hiding upstairs. So, the X is supposed to be for garrisons or weak spots. I don't really know. But he is hiding up there in the window. Anyway, let's run across, slap the truck on the barge, and start making our way northbound. Oh, there was this right here I didn't even notice. Safe house. Oh, but it has no supplies. Allows the structure to provide map or to oh they changed the uh the picture of that. I don't think it was like that before, was it? I honestly can't remember, and it looks like they changed this picture as well for the uh, garrison station. Boy howdy, they're updating everything. Actually, if, my, if I bring my barge, I don't even have to go on foot. I can just drive half of the way there. What? That's, that's my truck, yes. But what about the barge? Okay, I gotta back up a bit, I guess. Because the game is, uh, not in What the fuck? 
Why can't I refuel the barge? Or do I have to do that from the outside? Did they change how you do this? Well, oh, seems like they did. Because before you could just do it anywhere. Do you have to do it now from outside? That's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. If I'm going to be honest. Although this should be... If I fully fill it up, there should be more than enough fuel for me to get where I need to go. Yeah, I have plenty of extra gas. You want to head? You want to head north as well? As he's going off to wherever he wants to head off to. Warden's, Warden's nuking fear more in live. Wow. Supposedly. Alright. Now, what's the route here? Okay, I can go through this left passage. It's going to be a little bit tight though, but it takes me away from any possible coastal guns. And I can basically hug this area until I gotta skirt the edge, head into this shard, head up, and then, yeah, around here. Could come here, drop my ramp and drive up and over this way. And then, uh, yeah, make our way across and head up to the dam. Alright, that's the plan. Yeah, so the new camera... And it kind of feels the same from where when I've used barges before. It doesn't feel like it's really been changed that much. Oh, the bridge is already up. How handy. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a drive, but we'll go see. Wow, you can see over 150 meters with the binos. Shit, I should have grabbed a pair of binos and saw what that looked like now. Hey, at least now you can actually properly spot, like, almost full range for artillery and shit. Because I know the 150s, Grim was having to do, like, triangular uh, calculations to figure out where the hell the shots were going. And that was kind of a pain in the ass. Did someone already head all the way up north to the dam? If they did, I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that. How much you want to bet they use the exact same route that I'm currently using? what a third or a fourth of the way there something like that we'll head up speaking of which apparently my other lads that have come over are in a squad somewhere squad 
Hmm. Oh, I was so confused, but that's the wall to travel through. I thought I had beached my uh, my ship or something already. Uh, you wanna know it would have been funny if I just took a white whale up there and landed it. Put some shirts in it so I could respawn and then just went and explored. Nope, this bridge was not down. Can you imagine if you could freeze the bridges? Like if the bridges froze and you couldn't open them? That would be hilarious. Anyway, we'll leave that up because why not? <laughs> uh, my truck is going to be frozen to the fucking barge. God damn it. I think it's already frozen, or at least it's almost there. Oh. Did not know that was a feature. Why does the barge suddenly sound like it's struggling, stu 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 struggling a lot? Okay, that's a little bit too close to the uh, the shoreline there for my liking. If that even is the shoreline, it kind of looks like it. Oh, again, we're getting a bit too close, but this is the tip, so then we can just head direct north after this. And then we just gotta head up. And sadly, my truck will be frozen by the time we get there. I can try and build a fire near the beach where I'll where I'll land. Okay, yeah, so I can just basically head straight north. I think it's at that large iceberg or whatever that is that I gotta go right into the next hex. Okay, I can go a bit further before having to change uh, regions. Oh, hello, Iceberg. I wonder if you can build encampments on here. If you can, that would be hilarious, just to have an iceberg with a base on it, AT turrets surrounding it just to be like a road bump for any uh, naval shit going on. Anyway, so yeah, the uniforms and other shit won't be added to Dev Branch until Tuesday. A little bit of a wait. So we'll go see the dam, we'll try and get to their uh, town all the way on the west side, but I highly doubt we'll be able to manage that because that's a lot of warden territory to go through. One thing I need to do is set myself the local to talk to uh, any warrens we find. Oh, oh, the storm stopped. Oh shit, my vehicle should unthaw now, uh, slowly over time at least. Nice.
It also feels like we're moving faster now. I wonder why that is. I like that shadow. Mmm, that blocky shadow. Okay, yeah, so around here I may as well cross. Uh, we'll keep going straight until we hit the wall. Yeah, we'll go see the Warren Territories and everything, and then I'll swap over to, uh, back to Shard 2 and go play on that for a bit. SpaghettiOs, uh, and it's Haas with more alt accounts. Haas, why do you do this? I am pretty sure it's just a bot. If I have to go through it now and ban every single Haas account, like the fucking seven of them. Alright, so now we just hug this wall. And eventually we'll get up there. It'll take a bit, but uh, soon we'll get up there. Is that the sounds of another boat? Or is that mine? Hmm. I think that's just mine freaking the hell out. Apparently someone was saying hold right click and move to the corner of your... Screen very fast. I'm mean, gonna assume that's just with aiming. Although it does seem like your view goes to the bottom left a lot more than. Or the bottom right and left than it does the top. It feels like you get way more vision out the sides than up top. Don't know why that is yet. Okay, we're just heading past the Port of Rhyme, so we don't want to go into Weathered Expanse. We want to go into the next one to the north. Which I'll be hitting that wall in a bit. <laughs> Heading up to the dam. There we go. Clan Shed Valley. That's a nice name. I wonder how fast until a clan claims it as their reason. Or region, rather. Okay, am I safe? Yeah, okay. So I could land right there. I could land up there. We'll hug the coast and see what happens. Does that place have a coastal gun? It does, but I think I can get here without it hitting me. The terrain should be in the way. It kind of sucks that in our, um, our place down south, uh, the first town I went to, the one that obviously looks like a naval port, doesn't have a bunch of shipyards right where all those uh, docking areas are so I wonder if they expect players to use them for freighters 
like the freighters pull in, there's cranes way in there with flatbeds, and then you just load the shit onto them, and then they take it and go. I can see that being the reason for that. Okay, there we go. My truck's almost fully unthawed. The Kin, the Bastard Channel. Is this uh, a new region? Yeah, okay, this is the new region. So, theoretically, where... I mean, I can drive straight up to the dam. As long as I hug this southern route. Oh, the keep's back. Although it's blue now, so I'm not sure if they built it or not. There we go, and I should be able to land up on the left somewhere. See that looks like it would be a decent land in sight. And it's not too far. Alright, let's just see about landing right here. Hopefully the ramp can kind of go up. Really, this doesn't count? Come on. Alright, we gotta go up to the other beach then. Which isn't too far up, but come on, it looks like you can get up that. I mean, a soldier could. An APC probably could. Like, why can't I land there? That's silly. Silly, silly game. How much you want to bet I'm going to come over here and there's going to be six other barges? I would not be surprised, really. Well, the one good thing is if anything happens, I can just go on foot because it's not stormy up here currently. Oh, that only took me half a tank of fuel. Not bad. Oh, but now I can refuel it here? That's weird. Oh, that's not a good sound. We're gonna drive away from that. How come as soon as I get to war in territory, I hear an MG light up? The fuck? We'll have this locked just in case. Swap over to local just in case. I should be able to sneak right up to the dam. I mean, there's going to be shit tons of wardens at the dam anyway. 
So I'll probably get God as soon as I get there, but I can get to it at least. Theoretically. Yeah, even with the increased range, doesn't still feels like you're kind of limited in vehicles, which I get, you know obviously is the point. They can't extend your view the whole time. Shit, I no okay. Here we go. Right turn then left. Alrighty, we're gonna be there soon. The issue is, is then getting all the way west to go see their other town that has fucking seven safe houses. As if I'm gonna even be able to get there. Oh, that's new. It changed the uh, direction my camera is facing. Usually it don't do that. I'm just hoping there isn't like a warden kill team waiting for me. Oh, uh, you know what I could have done? I could have grabbed some shirts, brought a CV instead of my truck, and then just built an encampment on the beach. Or at least a bit off the beach. And then, uh, just walk. I have like 10, 20 shirts. Then that way if I die, I still have more chances. Fort Red. So they have Fort Red now, and we have, uh, was it Rolla Fort? Rolly Fort? Whatever it is. I wonder how it feels to drive a motorcycle with this new camera. Because obviously your vehicle is much, much smaller. Although when you aim in the corner, it kind of does pull you in a bit. Oh look, even someone in the uh, world chat said the bomb corner is more OP. Oh fuck. Shit. God damn it. I didn't realize those were fucking safe houses. They weren't marked on map. Oh, those are the fucking stupid garrison houses. So if I abandon war, can I then just go back in and... So let's say we change to live 2, blah blah blah. Change back over to here. No, sadly not. I do like this though, that's nice. That's a fucking shame I ain't get to see the dam. What the? I think that was an admin or a dev I just saw. What the fuck? Okay, here's me holding W. I am releasing W. Here's me pressing W. Oh, nope, it fixed itself. Everything was delayed there for a few minutes. Like that, dude. Man, look how fucking big the map is now. I mean, actually here isn't changed length-wise, it's just simply more back area. I mean, our areas look nice, it's very kind of um, Italian, you know, fields, orchards and shit, but it's not really anything noteworthy. I mean, you have... Oh, was it Terminus? Yeah. Terminus here that looks really cool. And then kind of three fingers, or the fingers. Just looks like three fingers. But the Wardens have Callahan's cape, which is looks fucking amazing. So it's the keep, the gun wall, and the drag. No wonder they have seven safe houses there. 
And this area is nice. It's like a decent city. And they have this area, which is going to be great for any of their uh, naval regiments to set up here. But then also you have the dam, which, you know, is only a single piece of a uh, wall in the middle of a river. But still, I assume it looks very nice. I'm just sad we couldn't make it all the way up there. It's kind of annoying, honestly. I mean, I could try and just walk up there. I don't know why this is darker. I feel like even on Shard 2, it's darker for some reason. Yeah. So what was that? Oh. Oh, this is what he means by quickly move to each corner. I see a moderator. There's a moderator hiding. Yeah, okay, so I guess this is their snap idea, so that you can quickly snap to corners. I mean, actually, it's decently nice. Oh, but there is... okay. Okay, yeah, I can kind of gauge the halfway mark where... Once you start passing that at and this speed, it flips. So, it's actually, you can snap to each area. Not so much side, because obviously not that much. But down here at the bottom and top, you can do snaps to the center and the corners. It's actually not bad. Okay, maybe not so much top. I have it more consistently at the bottom. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it snaps. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how it is with a weapon. Okay, so let's say I'm aiming here. God, that look at that fucking range. Well, obviously the pistol can't shoot that far, but you can. You can see that far. Anyway, center, snap. Oh, it does not snap while you're aiming a gun, though. So only when you're looking around does it snap. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I wonder if now at the uh, the garage... Okay, we gotta head down south for that. If I can build the new tank. Oh, hey, look at that. A brand new tank. But that's there, so I won't touch it. Good news is there should be a shit ton of, uh, R mats around here. Well, that's all B mats. Okay, so did they change the name already? Oh, Shetta. No, so they have not changed the name quite yet. No, oh, right, my fat ass is in the way. Alright, let's take a look at the, uh, the Palchetta. So 175 refined materials. Decently expensive. So I wonder if this is what they named it, the Falchetta, or the Falchion, or however they say it, before changing it to the other name they currently have. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. But we're, we'll hammer away at it and take a look. Hammering away, hammering away.
ba ba ba, this is gonna take a bit. God, do I even have enough fucking R mats for this? Dead man talking. Oh, shit, I don't think I got enough. No, I need 50 more. Alright, let's hope there's some R mats laying around. Hmm, I don't see any other crates or anything. So, how the fuck am I gonna get the R mats required? Unless, can I make a magic box or whatever people are saying? Fuck. I wish I saw that earlier. Why is all this area obstructed? That's kind of super annoying. Hmm. All right, well, let's just take a look, see. Oh, it takes, yeah, okay, 68 mil. Oh, that is a nice range. Now, also, the Commander should have access to, yes, the ball turret. Oh, it also moves the main gun currently. And there is a big clip in there, so that's a little bit weird. So that takes 12.7. Uh, I think these boxes were, what, 7.2 or 7.9? No, 7.9. Oh shit. Hmm. Oh hey, it's helping hands. Alright, let's get a single R mat and try and make a magic box. Some B mats. Here we go. Someone probably already did it. E mats. Hmm. No. 
Maybe that one's not a magic box, I don't know. No, so that one's just a normal one. There it goes. Okay, that's nice. Man's building train tracks without any uniform. Interesting. Well, that's nice tarp physics. Not bad. Hmm. I'm noticing when I press W, there's a delayed reaction. Okay, so I'm going to press W now. So it takes about a half second to start moving. That's a little bit weird. I don't know why that is. I wonder if I can make a magic box around here. I can't wait to play around with all the new building mechanics in the next uh, updated dev branch, which will be Tuesday. So I gotta wait a handful of days, but that'll be fine. Okay, let's see about making a magic box around here. Okay, is it because this area is too dirty? Or there's too much dirt or whatever. There has to be like some micro area. Just a teeny amount of space where I can place it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Come on, game. You gotta let me place it somewhere. Oh, that sign is just hovering. Maybe I can put it down by the trench area. I don't know. Here, maybe. No, still area obstructed. God damn it. What the fuck? Oh. There's a divot in the ground there. Oh, here we go. Alright, I found the small area where you can shove it. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Is this a new hull, or is it just a modification of the Scorpion hull? Kinda looks like a modification of the Scorpion. Oh, I could have honestly just taken that tank at this point. Let's cram some uh, petrol in here. That stuff kind of okay. It does. I've never actually driven a tank with petrol, mainly because there's never enough. You never find petrol laying around anywhere. Doesn't look like what you fuel it. There you go. Alright, and now we'll just like I shove the rest of it in here just in case we need it. Alright, let's see uh, what it's like with petrol. Okay, a little bit faster. What about on road? Okay, not bad. Oh, is anyone building in the trench area? Because I'd like to see this go over top of the trenches and not destroy them. Oh wait, no, the uh, shit, the shovels are disabled, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think we can do trenches at the moment, just pillboxes. I wonder how much this can take from a 20 mil. Yeah, I assume a lot. It can take a lot of punishment. It only makes sense. Hmm. 
Yeah, I should probably get some ammo for this if I actually want to fire it off. There's a crate of ammo, but I need to unpack that somewhere. Hmm. Don't worry, the Khmer should be able to pop up the top, right? Yes. Can you also... No, I can't aim the gun at the same time, but I can't see a nice... Nice view. Like, a very, very long view around me. But when I go back inside, it's now the ballpoint. I wonder what its field of fire is. Hmm. All right, we should be able to go get some. Oh, I'm back down to warrant officer one. All right, let's see about getting some ammo for this. Was it 12.7 and 68? Oh, that's why these vehicles are here. There is a wall. Hmm. That's kind of a shame. Oh, I should have taken the crate, brought it over to the stockpile, and unrefined it. Or, uncrated it. No, nothing. Okay, um... What do I need to make the ammo I need? 68 millimeter, 120, 120, yeah. Alright, more emats. Actually, we'll hold on to those for some magic boxes. Alright, we just need one crate and we need one of 20. Ah, yeah, shit, not enough. Is this one? That one was for R mats. Well, we'll quickly build one for uh, B mats. So I don't know why anyone hasn't. Unless that one is right there, actually. Was that one B-Mats? Yeah, it was. Look at that. Actually, I think I made a magic uh, crate for B-Mats over there, so we just gotta wait for this stuff to finish. Uncrate it, bring a single shell and box from each, and then we can set it down over there. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I can't uncreate it. Okay, I'll have to take it to the encampment then. There we go. Alright, here we go. I don't think you can uncreate at factories, can you? I don't think so. I guess we can check real quick. Can't get through there, sadly. Okay, just one shell is all I need. Magic box will be so good. Go pull out 168 mil. Hello there. Hmm. Odessa, you're finally here. Why do you hurt? Must a drinky dime. Mmm, drink. Alright, let's head back to the magic boxes. Did a doge hurt you at work? What happened? What has happened? I'm tired from working, uh, not allowed. Sorry to say, you're, you're not allowed to be tired. Oh yeah, I can stack the larger shells now, that's nice. Odessa, how dare you say such things to me? That is so rude. How dare you?
Okay. Confused hands, nice. Alright, let's go take a quick look, see. Ooh, it does not do well in tight turns. That's the driving course. Is there no firing course for this? No firing range, rather? Hmm. I could head over to artillery. Because there are some buildings and shit I can shoot at. Oh, that's a shame. I wanted to go shoot the fake buildings. Well then, we'll just fire off a round or two. Into the ocean. Wow, that is a nice range. Actually, we could probably hit some of the stuff over there. Or not. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised it doesn't make a bigger boom boom. Although, mind you, this is more, uh, you know, an anti-tank round than uh, an explosive one like the 40 mils. So it doesn't make the big boom boom. Okay, let's take a look at the commander's seat. So, what's the fire and arc on this? Okay. So, yeah, a fair amount, not too bad. Okay, so around there's the cop. And that's a lot of ammo for the, uh, the ballpoint. Like, that is a shit ton of bullets. Snack? No, you're not allowed to snack. Alright, let's drive this baby back. Hmm. It hides pretty well in bushes. That there looks like it would be big enough for the whole tank. Hmm. Wait, hold on, what? I'm hidden. Does that mean the tank is fucking invisible in bushes now? Or is that just the gunner seat, rather? Hmm. Interesting. That might be something to, uh, look into later. Hmm. 
Oh, and then that's something. Is that part of the gun? Oh, I can't change seats all of a sudden. Oh, and me trying to get out. Yeah, there it goes. I had a hunch I was about to crash. I come back to. Oh, is that the tank? Oh, time to go pull mine out from where it was. Somewhere past a one, I think. There should be an opening. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm able to run much farther. Anyway, like I wanted to check, is that part of the... Okay, it is. So, whatever that is, I'm going to assume it's part of the front of the tank. So if we go back here to the front where the barrel normally sits, what is it? Oh, I I see. It's the, uh, it's the fucking chain piece. You can see the other one there. Yeah, it's that right there. For some reason, it got, uh... Got attached to the uh, the turret. Well, that should be an easy fix. You just uh, unconnect them. As I don't get stuck, tank. Alright, uh, how many shells do I got left? None. Why? Why did someone do that? Oh, now I just can't get rid of them. That is a shame that someone would go and do that. Why must people be ninjas? There we go. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. AMA, ask me anything. It's one of the most universal things out there, so how do you not know that? Alright, so Commander gets in at the back, like usual. Oh, that's it. AMA is one of the oldest internet things on the planet. Uh, 
there's just another tank I wanted to check out. <laughs> I don't think it's here, so... Is it the warden tank? This one. Oh, the ballista. I've never actually seen this one. Oh, hi, That's Vortex. Nice. Uh, I lurk, doggy man, I lurk. But you just decimate structures. You have to be really, really, really close though, so it's usually not practical. Gotcha. Fun to use though if you can get your hands on some 150s or whatever, 250s. Ballista is absolutely amazing at clearing out bases. What, sorry? The ballista? Yeah. Yeah, if she's there's something great. Back at it. So is this like a chieftain? I used no, one of those before. No, this is the um, this is this is your structure killer, pretty much. It is it is uh, by far the best thing in the game to kill anything built. But um, it's I I don't know about your experience, uh, but it's ridiculously weak. Uh, in when I've used it, uh, it needs like, to be you know, screened by other tanks or infantry. Yeah. Alrighty, oh, Vortex, so, thanks like for looking. For a little lull. Have you ever drove one of those before? I don't think I have, actually. Is that the tank destroyer? I, yeah. Puppies. Oh yeah, oh, no, none of the commands are gonna look, lot, lot work right now, because I accidentally like, banned like, Streamlabs, so I need to go fix that. 10, 15 meters, max? It's gonna take a bit, sadly. Also, are you guys having some weird, like, camera jumps? Uh, like when you move your cursor left to right side of your... Yeah, so right now if you hold right click and go to any corner, it has snaps. So it just snaps your camera around. Uh, yeah, that's part of the game now. You can actually annoying. aim. It's a little uh, bit weird to get used to, but it's actually very nice. Especially because at the bottom of the screen, if you go midway, it snaps halfway. So you can quickly get a feel for moving around the map. That's cool, actually. Nice. Yeah. Let's get some petrol this time. Make it go speedy, boy. I want to build a, a Pelski because I've never actually seen one for the most part. Oh, this is a neat then. What do you mean, good job? You're gonna have to pop out of the tank. Is that a sarcastic good job? Why are you saying good job? You make me concerned, Odessa. Concerned! Perfect. Have you tried any of the new weapons yet? No, I haven't actually got, uh, deployed yet. I, I just wanted to run through some of these tanks before I actually... The new weapons are very nice. How, like, how nice? Uh, scale of, like, 1 to 10? So, the long rifle sounds like... like it almost sounds like an M1 Grand when you fire it. It has a very nice kind of pin and noise to it. Nice, nice. Uh, the repeater, it's just a standard repeater. It's good, uh, decent fire rate, and doesn't take too long to target in on something. Have you tried out any of the warden things yet? No, I haven't got my hands on them yet. Uh, I was really hoping to use the warden's, like what the dev said was the counter to the dusk. I really want to use that thing because it sounds great, but I just haven't seen it yet. I'm sure that people are doing trades at the front lines right now for the different weapons. I didn't think about doing trades. Damn. Yeah, well, I assume Sigil and uh, the Warden High Comm, whatever they call it, have been like, all right, here's a truck full of each other's supplies. Test them out. Mind you, as long as you get one of something from the Wardens, you can build a magic box and then have infinite amounts. Rip. Rip. I just thought if people jump to other sites, you can check it out. No, sadly, well, once you locked. join, yeah, you're faction locked. Kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. It's better for people don't spot. I mean, oh, spine doesn't matter on dev branch. This is the Pelski light tank destroyer. I have never seen it used because it never gets tacked. 
This thing, I, I, yeah, honestly, I've never seen this thing before. Where do you get ammo for this thing? Uh, you, this thing requires 250 mil. You're gonna have to make that factory. So have to run all the way across the map just to get it. All right, let's see. What does this nice, take? Nice. What kind of ammo does this take? 68. So it takes the same amount as the heavy tank. Yeah, but I, the, the heavy tank has a higher damage multiplier. Alright, uh, which one of these do I fucking... I think it's the one over here. Wait, how do the magic boxes work? Uh, you build them, and whatever you put in the first slot, it'll get made constantly. Oh, nice. So, this is the only area where I could find that you could put them down. It doesn't let you build anywhere else. Oh. Huh. Nice. Mind if I try firing some of these? Yeah, sure. Man, the camera range is really nice, though. Not gonna lie. I know, it's very nice. It's like, almost like... Hmm. Like, and there's almost like no, um, this thing has a tiny firing arc, which is not great. No, probably oh, part of the reason why it never gets teched. I'm wondering right. how it does against the, uh, HAT. Want me to fire? Yeah, sure. I mean, we can make them. So let's see, how much damage did that do? That did, uh, 15 damage, not bad. Yeah. Do we want to test how much damage like one of these things does up against one? Just oh, I mean, I guess one. it does at I least 30 damage. Alright. Oh, I'm weapon stricken. Of course I am. Oh, lovely. Alright, I'll take the shot. Right. Ooh, that looks like it was beefy. That was 15% as well, huh? Alright, so I wonder how much it does to the poor little Pelski. Want me to rotate it? No, no, just front on. It's probably going to do at least 30 damage, I, I assume. Oh, that bounced. That sounded like it bounced. Yeah, that was a bounce. Well, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that was a uh, 30, 34%. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this little thing cannot take many hits at all. How long till it's trapped? Is that like a 30% or something? Uh, I don't know. Let me... It doesn't look tracked. Tracked is a chance. No, usually it it's a damage track. threshold. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because like, normally it's like when a vehicle falls under like 60% or 80% or 40% or whatever. Why is this smoking so much? It's 85%, but it looks like it's about to explode. Yeah. That's uh, weird. Unless they added it where fires can start inside of tanks now. I've never heard of that. They didn't mention anything about it, so... That would be hilarious if they did. Just never mention it. If you don't have a uh, gas mask, when a fire starts, you just die. People did... Are you seeing... Did... Oh, by the way. They did Are say that they're adding the bar. Right here, when you move the gun. Oh yeah, that. So, if you look at the front of the tank, there's these rins that, like, cables would attach to. It's the one on the right that, for some reason, is attached to the gun. Has that been reported yet? Yeah, uh, they already know. Okay, cool. The, the first five seconds of people using the tank, they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> God, down to 32%. Yep. They did say that they're going to be adding more. Like, this is not just that. They're, there's stuff that they haven't revealed. Yeah. Well, this is the first half of the 1.0 update, and then the second half we're going to get trains and some other things. Say well, what? No, no. I want those. I, I really want those. Yeah, that's why the map's bigger now. Like, they didn't revealing yesterday for the update. There, there's more to come. There are, like, more uniforms and whatnot. Yeah, what they have now is a very good start. I can't wait until... Nice. I like this thing. The tank commander uniform has built-in chem, so we might not need a 
gas mask. Well, I know it says it carries more filters and they stack, so I guess we'll have to see. Yeah. But uniforms aren't being added in until the Tuesday dev uh, branch. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, the poor little tank cat. What's the Easter Atlas? I wish they would add back battle tanks. Uh, hopefully after the 1.0 update. Now that the map is starting to get bigger and ground can be lost uh, without a war about to end as soon, they may add it back. What's this thing? So this is not the armored car, but the anti-tank armored car. On Shard 2, there was a huge debate whether to go for this or the 30mm tank at. I thought Shard 2 already got the tank at. So. Yeah, we did, but before that, there was a huge debate on what to tech. We did several votes on it. Right. What's this thing use? It uses 20mm AT rifle uh, rounds. Oh, it's... Okay, that's interesting. I mean, turns nice as well. It's not exactly slow. No, nah, she's nice. decent. But I haven't been in the. But uh, I hear there it's going to be a battle of storm cannons on Shard Two. That it is. Yeah. There was a uh, three of us regiments all next to each other. Each of us having a base rushing for storm cannons. But uh, ours got taken out, so ours got reset, but the other two are putting theirs up. Okay. And then the north, there's quite a few storm cannons. It's a, it's a fucking rush. Oh, <clears throat> when do you think the first storm cannon's gonna be up? Uh, they're already up now. Oh, they're built? Or can they fire yet? Uh, as blow? far as I know, uh, right now they're just aiming them. As we speak, they're getting prepared to fire them, I believe. <laughs> it's gonna be a little battle of storm camp. I don't know. Though. I feel like I feel like storm cannons kind of need a nerf, though, right? Because I feel like at least right now they are kind of broken. Because there's no the next, them other than other storm cannons. They look at a text on there. You have to research them. Yeah, but like. Still, it's just like, once someone gets a storm cannon, the only way to kill that storm cannon is to either kill the entire base, which can take days or weeks, uh, or to um, get your own storm cannon and shell theirs. But while you're getting your own storm cannon, they can kill your storm cannon. So it's like, whoever gets the storm cannon wins. It's like, I don't know, it feels kind of... And it's not that hard to take out. Like, all you have to do is pop their core, and then they can't spawn, and then you can just systematically blow the base up. Yeah. You, have to be, you have to get to their bunker base though, which means either you have to take it out with Artie, if they have howitzers, you can't. Um, or you have to go after it with, like, tanks. But at that point, you know, it's just a long siege and you're probably going to lose a huge amount of war material that could be spent on another front. Yeah, but I've seen a lot of people build bad bases. Yeah. Well, the I other thing is you only need, like, a handful of satchels to just blow up a storm cannon foundation. Yeah, once you blow the foundation. Are, are we even close to satchels? Uh, shard 2, I think uh, we can see them now, but I think they're two or three techs away at this point. I'm not gonna lie, not being able to aim directly in front of me uh, is kind of annoying, because right now I, I literally can't aim at Paragon. Um, that's just, it's a blind spot for me, because the camera jumps. Ow. Oh. Yeah, that's what some of my uh, regiments say right now, because they're testing with some wardens, and they're like, yeah, trying to aim close with the guns kind of sucks ass. Yeah. 
Dude, That's people cool. still skip tech. Like, they used to do that all the time, and it was really annoying. Uh, last well, I mean, war on Shard 2, we skipped tech, but this war, we are very adamant against it. We'll see what happens. I mean, it works. It's like, if, like, if you need, uh, like, okay, if you really, like, don't want to just skip a tier because it's absolute shit, you can skip tech. Like, you know, let's say a tier has, I don't know, maybe, like, bayonets and, I don't know, like the, uh, like the Kali, like, uh, machine gun truck or something. I don't know. And let's say you already have like your like next tier is tankettes, so you could totally you could totally skip the tier that has the machine gun trucks and whatnot and go for tankettes because no yeah because you don't have a full percent of like teching up like when you're at your current tier if you skip a tech there's like an eighty percent chance that'll be successful to earn Torsa tech. Yeah, yeah, it's actually but... very good rolls half the time, because last war on Shard 2, we skipped to get the 30 mil tank at and the 120 artillery, and the tech masters were keeping track of their failures, and in total they only failed like seven times for the entire tier. How many um, prototype kits, kits do you need for a tier? Uh, it's hard to say, prototype kits. Each time you research it, it can give anywhere between 5 or 7%. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, for vehicles at least. For weapons, it's like 3 to 5%. So when uh, Warden's Lost was like 30 to 40k T mats on uh, Chart 1, that was like. Oh, yeah, that was weird. fucking huge. Like, that would have been an entire tech, like an entire tier of research. Damn. I just don't know why the hell they were holding that much tech. Why don't they use it? So uh, Because when server population is low, tech actually gives more. Uh, progress or something like that. I think it's a drop rates for tech. Something like that. Well, no, no, no. I, I, I don't think so. Because uh, apparently, it's like if you uh, hoard T mats, um, this is something Wardens figured out like 20 wars ago or something on Shard 1. Uh, if you hoard T mats when server population is low, uh, each prototype kit apparently gives them more. Or so I've been told. Huh. I mean, it doesn't make much Gee. sense to me, but. See, like, I heard a lot of rumors about stuff like that. One of the biggest rumors I heard is if you hold a prototype kit until it's research, apparently you're supposed to get, like, three from it. Oh, no, it does. Oh, you, get, you get three from it anyway, right? Well, no, it, it it's like, you know how they're, like, shiny and... Oh, not... yeah, of course. But, like, I, mean, cause I, I swear, whenever I look at a prototype kit, it says, uh, you, like, use X number of R mats to get three times, like, a... What, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I'm so... talking... Like, hold it until it's research. So say we got, like, the artillery gun. Sure. You hold it until it's made, uh, or finished researching. And then, apparently, it's like a full-fledged regular gun, not a prototype kit. Anymore. Yeah, so uh, my regiment actually did that this war on Shard 2 with the tankettes, is we had, like, ten prototype kits. Uh, we cook them all in the MPF, and if you wait until after it's fully teched, when you pull them out, they're going to be like real tankettes. So we get three times the amount that we put into it. Damn. You, are you guys on Shard 1 or Shard 2? No, Shard 2. Uh, I'm Shard 1. Because, like, I, I, I've been I've been looking around, and we just have a ridiculous number of tankettes, like, it blows my mind. Have those like all been from repair kits, or or have we just been saving up components for this one thing? People have been saving up, but also uh, people got the prototype kits and just sat on them in the MPF. And as soon as it got tech, they pulled them all out. So you just have tons of crates of three ready to go. What's your what regiment are you from on Shard Two? Uh, LLC. Sure. LLC. No, you guys don't play on Shard One at all, dude. Uh, used to, but I moved to Shard 2 to start the regiment over there and, uh, start recruiting new players. Uh, there was, a, a group I did hear of on Shard 2's CF. You seen those guys around? Uh, which guys? CF? CF. Uh, not sure exactly. I don't know exactly. what their full name is. Uh, I think Beloved is their leader. Beloved. Hmm. Yeah, I can't say I do. 
I know they play on Shark 2, but they go on one once in a while. I mean, I, I, my regiment is uh, blue, you know. Oh, the Builders uh, uh, the, United. Uh, yeah, but Builders League United. Um, we, uh, you know, uh, I think we work with uh, Octave, Dog, Gorgeous. Uh, Gorgeous swapped with Wardens, but... Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I ended up just getting picked up by them one day, uh, and hmm. we, we, like, we, we do bunker bases and whatnot. That's one, that's one of the main things I, I want out of this update, just, you know, the new bunkers. Oh, it's gonna oh, yeah, I'm an stop everything. <clears throat> Hello, welcome I'm to Lord's Chaos. I love it. Oh, that's up. <clears throat> that Hoss man is a bot. Major bunker complex. He has it's come through the... with, uh, what? It was glorious. How many is this now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just the last two hours, ten different alternative accounts to follow with. If you see him in your stream, just fucking ban him. I have no idea if it's a real person or just a bot doing it, but uh, yeah, I need to go through and ban all those alt accounts. I don't like them. I built quite a bit of uh, large storm cannon bases. Uh, storm cannon bases. The most input you'll ever do to something, and then if it gets destroyed, it just completely destroys your morale. And keyword, if. When you build it, right, it's almost you can make it impenetrable. I've seen a lot of people build bad ones, and I've seen very few good ones. Yeah, our regiment, uh, one of the new guys really wanted to build a base, so we let him build a base, and he built it right on the coast, next to where Warrens could land. They got it up to concrete as it was drying, we had the storm cannon and everything ready. Uh, about four Warden barges <clears throat> landed with APCs and like 15 dudes. They were all in the back of the APCs with uh, the Cutlers, and then just took down the BB in five minutes, not even. Rushed a CV out from one of the barges and tapped it. It was not fun. We welcome bots so we can ban. So, uh, I actually heard about that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Hilarious. And our base just got destroyed again by artillery. Wait, what? Yeah. There, are they firing on you right now? Well, it already happened about, you know, seven hours ago. Warren's had six artillery pieces, and they all focused in on the BB and took it out. Even de it afterwards. There's a really strong Warden regiment. Um, 709th usually does groups and things like that. It was hilarious because uh, one of our guys that was trying to defend the base couldn't do anything to really stop their barrage. So he found their spotter and just had a conversation with their spotter while, while our base was being shelled. We tried to buy one of their artillery pieces. Sadly, it did not work out. It. Oh, I don't know. Well, he's like, I'm talking to their spotter right now, and I'm like, see if we can buy one of their artillery pieces since we don't have any arty yet. You should have asked what regiment they're from. I'm not sure Certain if he'd still remember. Can I same up? Yeah, that's a nice range. Look at all the tanks. Do we not have the arty tech on... Char 2? No, we just got we it. Got... Oh, damn. So we haven't even got it up to the front line yet. No, uh, Field already was just tacked with the tank at, which we got about four hours ago, five hours ago. Oh, I thought that you guys had the tank at, you said earlier. Uh, I can't remember. But no, we just got the tank at today. Oh. So we're hoping by doing some big pushes we can hopefully start taking some ground back. Yeah, but aren't you guys like stuck on bridge battles right now? No, With the Warrens being... started to push over and started to push us back. 
Yeah, I'm looking at uh, Foxel Live stats. stats. Yeah. I mean, we managed to take Lathair, right? Or have they pushed us out of that as well? Well, the Warden's got Market Road. Gonna oh, have to get Shard that one I was like, you guys are from Shard 2, so I was talking mm -hmm. Shard 2. You're on Shard 2, right? Dolph yeah, Dolphin? I am. I am, yeah. Oh, what that? Oh, Warden's managed to take uh, Lathair back, apparently. Yeah. A lot they of people need, have started to quit. They only need three more captures. Such a pain in the ass to take, and they just fucking take it back that easy. God damn it. Like, if you don't stop pushing back, it's gonna war's gonna be over in a few days. War's gonna be over in a few days anyway. I mean, they were they, they were gonna push through. Um, they were gonna you push through Callahan's passage into wars anyway. So, like. I mean, we've managed, we've managed to hold him in Lockmore, but they're also starting to break that, so... Yeah, Lockmore is where we were set up. so low lately? Defeat us. Mm -hmm. That, and also, uh, people that keep liking to push b bridges, dying repeatedly, and then going, we can't win this war, and then they quit. I mean... I don't know. I feel like just the number of idiots at, at bridge fights is absolutely ridiculous. Well, it's, also it's like, all new players, so you can't yeah, be too mad at them. True, but it's like the number of people who are like, "We need to take this bridge. Let's push across." It's like, you, you, like at bridge fights, you never actually, you almost never want to actually take the bridge. It's all about holding the bridge and then just um, making the enemy run out of shirts. And at at some point, you know, you're able to maybe repair the bridge, drive a few tanks across, or shell with artillery or whatever, and then uh, take them out. At least. I mean, at that, at, with that, you, you take almost no casualties uh, and are able to decimate your opponent. Man, it was so funny. I was at the uh, the one bridge fight south in Calhans Passage at Stolas or Solus or whatever it's called. And we had a yeah. single Duro APC and a single FMG and also one of the uh, Great War tractors. And we were able to push the Warrens back and back across the bridge, but of course it was blown up. Then the officer there starts saying, we have to rebuild the bridge, we can push them back, we can win this fight. And I'm like, no, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Don't do that. Yeah, I heard that they had, um, they, they were moving up some of the 40 mil armored cars to, to Solace or whatever, uh, in Intel chat. Yep, they are spamming their 40 mils everywhere. I mean... Are, are the 40 mils actually matched for our tankettes? Or is uh, it like two or three shots the tankettes? Jesus Christ. Yeah, if they if two of them catch you off guard, you're just dead. Happened to I me mean, last war. It's like the thing is, uh, I was running a tankette earlier today, right? Um, off of what, what's that place it's like? Uh, it's the one place in wars the wards have managed to establish a little foothold. Um, then some guy ran, or some guy just didn't track me instantly with a 20 mil rifle. And then managed to um, two shot me after that, which was ridiculous. Yeah, just, like, strong athletes. shit. Yeah, it's like, how how can they get all the ridiculously OP tank killing stuff? Well, with tank ads, you just gotta be very, very careful. You gotta play defensively. I've come to talk with you again. I mean, be fair, they have decent range, which it's it, you can exploit it. Kind of. Well, this update I think is going to help tankettes because then they can see infantry running up to them. They weren't able to do that before? Well, with the increased view range, you can oh, yeah. start pulling yeah. back sooner. That's true. I mean, with with, with a. Wait, tankettes have a commander seat, right? No, just driver gunner. Wait, I, I swear there's a hatch on top. Wait. There is, and it looks like you should be able to get out, but you can't. That's dumb. Now, last war, we should have been... We should have won that war with the tech we were given. We had the FMG, the Odyssey, the normal armor, er, armored car... And then the 30 mil. Everything you could need to make a perfectly good, balanced, armored column. 
But then I, I mean, constantly see people just run AACs into the enemy's defenses. I mean, what I heard uh, that happened was that we were outnumbered two to one, apparently. Yeah, still are, but we'll keep on fighting. Yeah, I mean, they're starting to run uh, uh, the, the bot's back, name uh, is Hoss. Hoss O O three one two. Uh, howitzers, or at least many of them have, uh, at least from what I've seen. So I think we'll be able to hold them for at least another week if we play this right. Uh, I'm is... estimating more like two to three days, realistically. Really? You think they can push up that fast? Uh, I think it's just, I'm factoring in the amount of people that are going to start quitting. Oh, okay. True. I think, realistically, if we had all the regiments and everyone working together, we can hold them for a week, probably, or even five days. But the more land we lose, the more people quit. All right. There are people in my regiment now that are just like, well, I'm only going to play Dev Branch now. This war is lost. And I've smacked them upside the head. I'm like, no. I mean, the war is lost. It's just not lost yet. Yeah, we may lose in the end, and we probably will. But uh, we're going to fucking make the Warrens pay for every inch. I mean, we've already been doing that for pretty much this entire war, right? Cause we've been on the defensive. Yeah, we've been on the defensive since the start. I mean, like, first day of the war, right? I mean, I remember um, the fight for abandoned ward was just kind of ridiculous, at least at the start, because uh, we ended up... Um, God, look at that at, range. I mean, I'm not sure about how the whole thing with... Or the whole thing uh, to the north and south of abandoned ward was, but at abandoned ward, it was literally just uh, people spamming mammoths. And then I heard more than one person say, this is ridiculous, I'm, gonna, I'm quitting. Which is... I was like, what? But apparently, you know, I don't know, maybe PSP people haven't just spent enough time on the you know, new war before, but also, like, for anyone. Well, also, I think it's just a bunch of people that don't understand the grind of early war. Maybe. For the first week of a war, it's an insane grind, and barely any land switches hands. I mean, I, I feel like with enough people are just spamming mammons, though. Well, yeah, that's the people thing, is mammon yet. rushes. Also, um, on your map right now, are we on a road? Uh, no, and I actually remember there used to be a road here, but for some reason it's been deleted. Actually, what the fuck, did they change up the home island area? Um, yeah, there's supposed to be a road here, according to my map. But, there's a wall. Uh. Well, get out your shovel, we're gonna dig a tunnel. Don't have a shovel on me. Well, then you're using your hands. Well, seriousness, though, I think we probably can loop around the top here. Do you know if they're still in artillery range, or did they, or did they get rid of that? Uh, I was up there earlier. It's still there. There's an entrance to go to it uh, at the back of the drive-in area in course one. Right. Yeah, it does look like they just got rid of the road over here. They changed up the home region. Huh. But they didn't update the map for it. Oh, I wonder if they changed the home region this update. And obviously they haven't changed the maps yet. That might be it, yeah. Do you know if uh, there's extra 20 mil ammo lying around? Or is that just not something people think? Uh, we'd have to go make it. Because it's only used, I believe, by the... ATAC and the anti tank rifle. Those are the only things in the game that use 20 mil, I believe. Right. Or the 20 mil anti tank rounds, rather. Actually, yeah. no. I can't remember. No, I think the gas uses 12.7. Yeah, the gas uses 12.7. Uh, at least uh, one of the Daru does. Yeah, and I think FMG oh. also uses 12.7. So yeah, this one here on the left is up to the RD range. Oh, nice. Random tank lying around here. Is there, are there any plans for like new RD pieces for us, or is it just same old, same old? Uh, same old for now. 
right. one thing me and my Reggie keep wanting since we do a lot of arty would be an SPG tank. Kind of like the Ballista, but longer range and probably 150s. Oh, damn. To have an actual arty tank would be kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, we kind of already have the mortar half track, right? Which kind of serves that function. Yeah, I don't know. In my personal experience, I find the mortars to be dog shit. I guess. I mean... They're only good for attacking buildings. If you try and hit infantry with them, you just can't. Let's see. I remember using one of these things like... Mm, the Thunderbolts. Two wars ago. Uh, have not used one since... Yeah, I remember when my Reggie, we had, uh, I think, five Thunderbolts firing at once. Oh. It was awesome just to see them all go off at once and then just hear our spotter scream out, Holy shit, you just annihilated a tank. A tank? Yeah, if you have enough of these all firing at once, you can kill anything. And then with the the 120s here, we took out quite a few bases. Concrete, normal T2, we killed everything. I mean, these things move on their uh, on their own, which is one of their advantages over Warden, uh, right? Yeah, is these can move, the Warden 120s cannot. So we were just slowly creeping up with the front line and just providing constant arty support. Which Satiria yeah. time for Did a you train. Have, like, tank support or anything, or is it literally just already in infantry? At that time, we had just unlocked tankettes, or we were just about to. Right. So it was us with the one twenties supporting while uh, tankettes and infantry pushed up. I mean, I, I remember do, I remember trying to do that at some point. Just the was that baths, I think. Um, like. One or two mm. wars ago, uh, we were trying to hold baths from the warden push, but uh, thank you, Wish. If I remember correctly, uh, what we for the drain already pieces up so we could shell our bunker base, but they ended up pushing us back over a bridge and uh, took out one of the arty pieces. They just repeat that one more time. We lost the other one, which uh, screwed us on that front. Yeah, the arty pieces are a fickle mistress. I mean, they do ridiculous amounts of damage, though, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> They are fucking amazing to do. We pissed, so two wars ago now, uh, just normal, I think it was War 19 for Shard 2. We pissed the Warden so, pissed them off so much with uh, our constant barrage of their bases and pushing them back. They sent out uh, a tank squad of three scout tanks to find us and kill us. Did they succeed? Yeah, they killed us, but they didn't destroy the pieces. Uh, they obviously were behind enemy lines, so the second they hit us, everyone came over to fuck them up, so they ran away. We respawned, hopped back on the guns, and shelled them again. Huh. And this is a giant arty wrench. Yeah, that secondary island is for the Thunderbolts, and I don't think there's a storm cannon. It would be nice if there is a storm cannon here. I'll be honest, I've never actually used a storm cannon before, I'd love to. They are insane. Just to turn it takes like two or three power, and it takes hours to recharge power. I, I assume their shells do ridiculous amounts of damage though, right? Yep, it's a 300 millimeter shell. Is it like one shot bunker bases and stuff? Uh, it doesn't one shot them, but it only takes a shot or two. Damn. And their splash Damn. is fucking huge. Is it also effective against concrete, or is it just- Oh yeah, everything can kill concrete. Even the normal 120 here can uh, kill a concrete bunker. Right. Do the wardens have any like movable artillery like this, or is it all their stuff stationary? Uh, the only thing they have is their 250 millimeter mortar, which has shorter range. That's the, on the ballista, right? Or not, their, not the ballista, whatever their version of ballista is. No, it would be our ballista, but no, it's just a wheelchair. It's like this, but it's just a mortar tube instead, and it fires shells there 250 millimeter. Right. But then they also have their light tank that's just a mortar tank, which is 
I don't know, I see them use all the time, but I never can tell it's on the battlefield until we capture it. Is it just like a regular mortar then, or is it... Yeah, so their special? mortar tank is just a normal mortar that fires mortar shells, I believe. What's its range? Is it like normal, normal mortar range, mortar half-track range, something like that? I think it's normal mortar range, or like the half-track, so like uh, minimum I think is 20 meters, maximum is 80 or something. Because the uh, normal mortar, right, is like 45 is minimum, 80 is maximum. Then I I've heard the half track apparently goes up to 160, but I'm not sure about that. Mm, it does not. Its maximum is 80 or 90. Right. It is just a mortar slapped on a half track. Another drink. What then? Why would you go for it over a regular mortar? Because of the armor. It keeps right. you more protected. And then also you can have your spotter send the passenger seat, pop out, scout, and then uh, pop back in so they're protected. And then it can... They can just move around and take out targets then? Or... Yep. And also the fact that the mortar half-track has bigger inventory than you do, so you can carry a shit ton more mortars. Huh. Speaking of carrying more stuff, have you heard anything about... Um... Increase like in inventory capacity with the uniforms this update yep so if you look at any of the bases uh and scroll down to like where the uniforms are you can hover over them and they tell you exactly how many spaces they have and the buffs they give it's really nice so some of them have the medic has reduced slots i think it only has five slots or something but it can it stacks bandages and blood plasma it stacks blood plasma Holy yes cow, okay yeah, which when I saw that, I was like, wow, that's cool. And it said also stacks bandages. I'm like, that already happened base game. What the fuck? I mean, I assume if, if they have to specify stacks bandages, that might mean that um, regular uniforms don't stack bandages anymore. Yeah, which is going to be slightly annoying. Not the end of the world, though. I mean, to be fair, I usually only carry one or two bandages. I, just, I feel like I generally don't need more. Uh, or it's like either I get healed by a medic or I get screwed over by a random shot from someone's pistol. Yeah. Uh, I mean, normal stuff, but you know, you get, you get the idea. The one thing I'm worried about is just uh, if whether or not you're going to... I don't think it will, but I can imagine a system where you're required to have the basic uniform to respawn as well as a shirt, but I don't think that's the case. I mean, they said that uh, most people... That they imagine most people are going to be using the basic uniforms anyway, so I assume that they're just the default. Yeah. And you would... Uh, respawn. I mean, okay. Compared to the amount that they cost, that at least I've heard they're not exactly cheap to get new uniforms. So having requiring people to respawn with a basic uniform would probably it would be exorbitant in terms of the cost. So I really doubt they're going to do it. If I remember what it costs at the factory, I think it's a hundred B mats for every single uniform, and each one gives you ten uniforms. So it's basically 10 B mats per uniform. That's roughly the cost of a shirt, right? Give yeah, and it's the same amount as shirts. That's why I wouldn't be surprised if they bundled the two together. I mean, if they replaced shirts with uniforms, I would be down for that. But Yeah, that would be a neat addition. But the only issue with that then becomes with the different uniforms. Well, maybe, maybe there's like a system where you can select what you want on a respawn. Although that could be, that could get kind of, oh, I don't want to say ridiculous, but it could get kind of convoluted um, for newer players. Yeah, but uh, the one thing I'm really excited for is if you can loot uniforms off of people. I mean, I assume you can. I mean, it, it, actually, if you, can, if you can loot enemy uniforms, that'd be awesome. You know, just being able to run around as like a warden or something. Yeah, see, I, people I like... have been asking about that. Can we loot the warden's parkas? I don't know, I feel like I like their sapper uniform better than the Kali one, mm. so that, that would also be kind Drink of cool. time. We'll just have to wait and see. Yep. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of want to deploy, because I haven't actually deployed yet um, on oh, the dev branch. I've deployed and uh, been around the map already a bit. Anything super interesting in new the new regions, or is it just like normal? 
the Kali side is very generic, and we don't have any place that really stands out except for, I think it's called Exodus. It's basically like a dry dock port area with multiple channels to go into for ships. Uh, it also has a nice, like, vineyard or apple orchard outside the walls or outside town. Uh, the Wardens got favored a little bit more in, like, um better places so the warrens have a dam in the far north you can go see sadly i died trying to make it up there and then to the west they have like a giant port area that has seven safe houses it's called callahan's cape so seven safe houses seven safe houses in one town are safe houses like like, what's the difference between a safe house and a normal, like, town hall or whatever? Safe houses like... shoot you. Wait, so they're, like, garrison buildings, but... Yep. And you can respawn at them. Okay, that's kind of broken. To have seven of them in one thing. Yep, so that place is basically a fucking fortress, but it's designed to be a fortress. If you actually read the areas for it on the map, it is, like, clearly intended to be a fortress. Huh. I mean, if, it, if people end up actually properly defending it, I'll be like, I'll, I'll be down for that because uh, you know, actually watching someone properly defend, like or at least properly sieging a fortress like that, I feel like it would be kind of cool. It, it's very nice though, uh, especially because it's kind of like a military port, so it's like two canals that meet and everything. I think I'm just going to go ahead and deploy now. Uh, yeah, have fun with the, that. Uh, yeah. Th thanks for the, the, I guess, advice, if you want to call it that. Yeah, chit-chatting, accompaniment, so on and so forth. Yeah. I, got... I, mean, I guess, in terms of new vehicles, though, I, I do I do want to ask, what is your opinion of the Warden tank? Oh, the uh, cruiser? Yeah. I think it's nice, and it fits a niche they kind of didn't have, because a lot of their vehicles are more like heavily armored. Not super fast, but their cruiser is kind of a little fast tank. Kind of reminds me of, um, uh, fuck, what's that American tank? Not the Chaffee, the one that usually comes before it. Uh, the Locust. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Locust a bit in its uh, design, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, for what I've heard, apparently the fact that it has a long-range gun and the fact that it's really fast apparently makes it kind of... According to my regiment, they say it was kind of broken, but um, that's I think it's just because they ran into a couple of them. It, it um, sounds like it I'm would be sure. really broken, but I feel like they're going to have a couple drawbacks. I mean, no doubt, but... Because the thing is, once it gets into a firefight, unless it gets the first shot, first shot off, I feel like it would kind of get clapped. Probably, yeah. I mean, because I feel like it, it's it's um. Wait, does it have the boost backwards as well, or is the boost only the front? I feel like it's only to the front. Oh, uh, because if it was backward boost, that would be ridiculously good because it could fire and then back up really fast. I'm not sure. I haven't seen too much said about it so far. Right. But I'm gonna assume it's lightly armored because it's meant to be for flanking and long range engagement engagements. So if it comes toe to toe with like a Falcon or a Sparta or even the new heavy tank, it's just gonna get fucking destroyed. I guess. Uh, what is it fire? Is it 68 mil or is it 40 mil? I think it's 68 mil as well. So both new tanks are 68 mil. I think uh, other than the one warden tank beforehand. I think they're now the only ones that use 68 mil. Unless, no, the Pelski also use 68 mil, but no one ever uses the Pelski. Right. Well, I think I'm going to make my way back to Shard 2. So I'm going to take a break here and uh, swap over to Shard 2. Come here, come here. How are you, witch?
Odessa, is that just you? It is. Why did you change your name again? Why? Why did you do this? Why do you always just randomly change your name in the middle of the stream without saying anything? Why? Why do you do the things that you do? Alright, let's hop out of dev branch now. Oh, it needs to update. How long is that gonna take? It technically should just delete the shit. No. 10 gigabytes, what the fuck? You shouldn't download anything. You download stuff already, Steam. You should just be deleting. Delete. Delete. Well, if that's the case, I might just end the stream for the night here. You did not say anything. I am looking through the entirety of chat, and nowhere did you say, Hey, I'm gonna change my name. You did not say anything at all, period. Don't lie to me like that. Also, for some reason, you're just counted as a viewer instead of a moderator, and it's kind of weird. I don't know why. Okay, let's pause the stream for right now. Or the download, rather, because that's killing the stream. Yeah. Yeah, I think for now I'll end it. Probably won't stream again tonight. Nope, Odessa, I'm looking through the entirety of chat, and you never once said you were going to change anything. Nope, I don't see anything. Nope, you just came in and said you hurt. You hurt because of work and blah 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 blah. I'll set I'll set I'll clip it. I'll send you logs. I'll send you chat logs. Yeah, for now I think I'll end it. That was a good three hour stream as a way back. Tomorrow I don't know what I'll do. I might have plans for the evening, so we'll see what happens. But with that being said, whether it be because your time zone, good night or good morning, everyone. And remember to eat, sleep, and drink. Otherwise, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Odessa. Yeah, hydrate right before we go. I'm out of drinks, so I'll have to get one in a moment. Yes, goodbye, Odessa. Blah, blah, blah.